I'm meteorologist Mark Mancuso, and on this day in weather history, September 18th, 1926, the Great Miami Hurricane devastated Miami, Florida, bringing in Category 4 strength. Winds on the ground were reported around 125 miles per hour, and pressure measured it at 935 millibars. Most of the coastal population had not evacuated due to the short warning issued just hours before. A 15-foot surge engulfed the area, causing massive property damage and fatalities. The eye crossed over Miami Beach, and some believe the storm had passed. The law lasted 35 minutes, and as a result, some tried to leave the barrier islands, only to be swept off the bridges by the rear eye wall. Afterwards, the newly founded University of Miami nicknamed their athletic teams the Hurricanes in memory. Its mascot is an ibis, a small white bird, and according to folklore, the bird is typically the last to leave before a hurricane strikes and the first to return once it's gone. Adjusted for inflation, it was the costliest U.S. hurricane to date, double that of 2005's Hurricane Katrina. Storm's regional impact contributed to the demise of the Florida land boom of the 1920s and pushed the region into an early start to the Great Depression. 84 years ago, I'm Mark Mancuso.